So, as I promised, this is some video that we're going to be doing with Zanika here, okay? I like some little style to show people who are suffering with lose of hair, the children here, okay? I started two, okay, braid. I'm just going to do the other one. Like you can see, what I'm working with here right now, she has no hair to the back. She has some length still on the top, and the nape is like basically gone. I put some, um, what I do, I put some edge control okay of her edges and right now what I'm doing is just a tree twist tree braid sorry but you if you're a person if you prefer to do the the invisible you go right ahead but I'm just doing this she doesn't like it at all but I'm trying to do this as quick as possible as I could because normally I won't put this in her hair I will work with actually what I have but as I promised some people would have different place says to take the child and they want the child here look a little more presentable okay so i'm not putting pressure also on her hair i'm doing it very um soft because her skull is very tender and i don't want to make it more tender this is what you see in here this is just the edge control okay it will dry i just apply it so it's a little wet right now so what i did so far I put two braid this way, one here, one here, and now I'm going to attach this one, okay, to what I started, okay, so what we're going to do, okay, is add in here, okay, well, oh, on a good day, I would never put extension in here, but this is just a little help for you guys out there, if you choose to, okay, what I would do, her two go hair start every day, every second day I wash her hair. And I just put like maybe four big braid, go back. That's how I normally do her hair. That's just her everyday to day care school. But if she go in a little more formal, let's say a birthday party or something like that, you can do this, okay? To make it, to dress it up a little more. Okay, so we're doing like this. You have a choice, but as I said, they're eczema children, so you don't want to like leave this like full length hanging and touching the skin because you see she started to get a little irritated already. So what I would do, I would actually add some um sorry, oopsie, I would um add some maybe some design little pins here whatever and have it like you know like detail it a little bit with some of these shingy shingles here like that oops <laughs> sorry I need a little more energy in my hand okay you know like these i would put like these in her hair if you wish to whatever and more and what i would do is just wrap her hair because i don't want to leave it to touch her skin okay and it's best you do that too because you don't want to leave these synthetic hair to touch the skin because it's going to irritate the hair. And then you could get like a nice little, I don't know, hair band. And you just put there and you put two little bobby pin like this to, you know, to hold it in place there. You could add more sequins or like whatever you wish to. As I said, this is just wax here. So this is going to dry after a period of time, the white thing that you're seeing in her hair. Okay, so this is, <laughs> just touching, hi Zanika, say hi, oh, <laughs> okay, so this is style one you can do, you see her hair, like, okay, and the back now, me, what I would do, I would just take a little bit, not too much, rub it all over my hand, and just bring her edges, her back down, take a soft brush, and just lay the back down. Just lay it down like this. Okay? If you your child have hair missing in the back, like my daughter. Okay? So it's going to look like this. Leave it. No stress, no pressure on it. Okay? So this is if she's going like a little bit of party. I will do this with her hair. Okay? And if she's going to school or daycare every day, don't put these things to stress the hair out. Okay? You can leave this the extension part out of it and let her hair breathe. Less stress on these hair is better for them. Okay, so I'm taking out this style one. 
and we're gonna start style two yes yeah, so we're back here with style number two so I'm gonna turn her this way so you guys gonna see after I keep the part I use when I did the braid before as I say you could get some gel and just bring the back down to lay down I don't know if you can see her back this is her back I don't want to put too much gel in her hair I don't really like gel but I would um sorry not gel I use edge control okay then we put this then if she's a, she's going like something a little more formal okay mind you my daughter have extension this could I just catch up in one and she wear her own hair but we want her look a little extra okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna put like a little puff okay like this sorry Zanika sorry princess okay guys let me see. See, she doesn't. She she doesn't like the hair. Cause when it touch her, and I don't blame her, it's very. You know, on the skin of her, on their skin. So believe in me, I would not recommend you to use extension. If you have to, you could. But if your child have some hair and you can work with what she has, leave please the extension and work with whatever the baby has going on for him, for her okay so we want to keep it kitty friendly too so i just put that sorry i'll put the elastic in first and i just put just something here to keep it down like that okay same thing we do on the other side okay we keep the hairstyles kitty friendly not because we want them look extra we're gonna have them looking like grown-ups okay we want to keep it kitty friendly as well with them so it's just two little pom pums you just add in okay like this you twist it around and curly hair always goes better because to me I think it's more youthful I don't know but hey everybody has their choice of what they like and then you just take two bobby pin for extra hole okay and you stick it underneath like that so yeah, this is my little princess Nika you want to show everybody say hi Nika Nika say hi hi <laughs> say hi okay guys so this is a little more if she's going a little more maybe something a little more extra you put this here what I would do um if you don't have to do you could put it all up or you could just you know we're going a little extra and here now you keep it kitty friendly you get her little bubbles and you add it here actually this is a little too short I need a longer length or you could like you know pretty it up a little more put her 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 little um sequence you know a little go on there for her you could actually like you know run them like this or you know play with it you know it's all about making them look a little different from every day going to school right princess <laughs> yeah so this is some little friendly kitty hairstyle you know they're not lost yes they lose some hair but whatever we have left we work with it so on her shampoo days I used to use this in the first in the beginning when she had their eczemas in her hair fungus going on Oh my god it dried the life out of here so I no longer use this what I use now is this Demaris Horosis and I wash her hair like at least every second day I wash her hair this I find a difference with her hair the texture and the um the itching and everything like that it's 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 working for her and I also use, I also stay natural. I use the black, um, I don't know if you're familiar with it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cut off piece already. But it's original natural black soap. I wash her hair with this and then some aloes after. That's how I wash her hair also. This is really good. It gives me good feeling. I see good effects from her with the itching and everything after. I even bathe her skin with it as well too, sometimes. And I use like yeah just regular with her and I do not put 
gel and and those things that are here as i said like every day for her to go daycare what i did with the big braid go on there i would just take away the braid and i would use her own hair and make like three here three here go back if you can catch hair or you can't catch your back don't stress it putting stress in the hair it's weakening the hair and it's no good for irritation for a child with eczemas in the hair because they see the way they scratch their skin already okay so you catch where you could catch and you leave what you can't catch it's okay let the hair breed okay so as i said this is only if she's going somewhere formal and you want to dress it up a little more go right ahead okay so this is basically my little put together for you guys sneaker you see the white thing i'm sorry it's going to go away just a little wax i put in her hair okay Susie, say bye, princess. Yes, mommy. <laughs>